Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to all my subscribers and my new ones. It's always a pleasure to have you. So guys, as promised today, I'm here with a more tailored version. Let's say we're going to just be adjusting our waistband. This is a little more complicated version, guys. If you had missed the previous two videos where I did one where I sewed the dart in with my sewing machine, then I did another version where I used my hands. Those were simple ways that you can go about putting a dart in your jean waistband. But today we're going to be adjusting the band guys and making it cinch in to fit you as though it's just custom made for you right out of the store. So if you guys have missed those two videos, I'm going to put it up in the cards. You can go ahead and check it out. So guys, so today's video is a more tailored version as I said. It's going to be a little more precise. There's going to be a lot more ripping. You know, it's going to be a lot more structured. And um, you know, it's going to be a little more time consuming as well. Yeah, so um... I'm going to show the, you guys how the jeans that I'm going to alter, how they fit and how much I need to actually take in in the band. We're going to do the measurements there as well. And then I'm going to show you guys all that I'm going to be using for this. So if you guys want to see how to alter the jeans band waist and you know make your jeans fit to your own liking, just keep on watching. Okay guys, so these are the jeans that I'm wearing here right now. I just had to like tuck my blouse up here. so. We can show this area so you can see every it looks pretty okay in the front but then when I turn on the side see I have all of this room going on back here and that's what I want to get rid of so this here so I turn in the back you can see how this is here now for this one you're just gonna find the middle loop of the jean right back here and just pull it you know, pull it snug enough on your waist, you know, where you can feel that nice little comfort. So in this case, I'm just pulling from the center and I'm getting a nice snug fit around my band right here. I'm going to go ahead and take my little clip that I have right here and I'm just going to go ahead and just clip that right in the back. So I know that's going to be my measurement as far as how much I need to adjust in the band. When I go ahead and take these jeans off, I'm going to do the measurement of how much this is right here and then we're going to proceed from there. So let's just move on to the next phase. Okay guys, so we're back. So all that we're going to need for this alteration, well we're definitely going to need our measuring tape, tailoring chalk, scissor, uh, main importantly going to need a seam ripper, actually has that little pointed side right there and a little beaded side. It's obvious we're going to need the jeans that we're going to be altering. And guys, I know these were the jeans I was wearing. Yes, I'm wearing pants. I'm wearing pants, guys. Don't think I'm not wearing pants anymore. Okay, so guys, we're also going to need some thread. I already have my machine threaded with some thread that's actually going to match the thread in this seam. As you can see, it's a sort of a dark brown. Um, so you really want to get thread that's going to pick up and match what's running along your jean band waist. You don't want to go with something contrary, you know, it's going to look totally off. Unless you're the type that wants something that's a little flashy, flamboyant or whatever. Okay, you're going to need a sewing machine for this one. We cannot do this one by hand. Okay, so these are the jeans that I took off and you can see how much of the jeans that I had to actually cinch in go ahead and measure this and see how much it is looks like we'll be taking in about two inches of the waistband okay so I'm just gonna give that a little mark right now I'm gonna go on the other side and just give that a little mark as well so you can see where my little mark is here right now and on both on both sides um, also to clear up guys and in at two inches here guys so when I say we're gonna take in two inches um, I needed to clear up that all together is gonna be four inches because we just had the pants waist just kind of like doubled like that so with our markings here that we did uh, just measure over so it's gonna be four inches that's gonna be taken 
out of the band. Now we're gonna move into the more fun phase, guys. The more fun phase. So now I'm gonna turn the jeans inside out. Usually with jeans band stitches, they usually go in like a chain stitch. So the chain stitch usually runs from left to right. So in this case, it's running along this way. And um, at this point, we just go in to start taking out our seam along the bottom area of the band and then we're gonna work on the top of the band. So it's gonna be from the actual waist. On either side of the waist, you're gonna start ripping the seam out. I'm just gonna snip this a little bit. I'm just gonna give it a first little snip. Just to get this thread going. And with my seam ripper, I'm just gonna start lifting up. And depending on how you lift, uh, chain stitches are so easy to get out. You just have to get a nice good hook on one of the thread. And then you can just ravel the entire thing out. And now you can see we already open up the bottom part of our waistband. I'm just gonna unhook the loops as well because these two need to come out. So I have a razor blade, I'm just gonna go in and just snip that out. But you gotta be careful if you do have one of these because, you know, it can be very sharp. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the upper band as well. I'm gonna get the seam out. This is going to be put back into the waist of the jeans. Now that our waistbands are free from the pants itself, I'm just going to go ahead and iron out these seams. Now you can see that this band is doubled. flattened out each side of the bands. So now it's easier for me to go ahead and work with. I have to find their center mark and I'm just gonna measure off my two inches again. Just automatically gonna turn into four inches when you open it out flat. you can see we have our measurements taken so we have two inches on each of the bands we're gonna be taking off this is kind of what we're working with here so now I'm gonna stitch down on these two inch marks that I have same thing on the other side I'm just gonna go ahead and cut off these extra pieces right now. From here you can see where our band has gotten a lot smaller. So there's our bands. But you wanna make sure everything is lined up. So you have to be lining up your seams the same way. In this case, you're gonna just fold it back in order how we ironed it out fold it back into the seam itself. I'm just gonna put a, a little clip right here. I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the other side. But making sure that this flap inside is open and it's not closed up like that. You don't wanna be stitching on like that. Make sure everything is open and then you make your fold. And I'm gonna put my little mark right here and keep that in place. I'm just gonna release my clips. 
I'm gonna line my material up as you can see where the seams are. Seam in the front and the seam here. Always having something to hold down your marks is a really good way to go. So as you don't lose any of your direction, I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom as well. I'm gonna start with the top band and I'm gonna stitch this down. I like to start from the middle of the band, moving out so as to not have an unevenness while I'm stitching out. Um, then I come back to the further end and then I'll continue stitching that. go on to the other side of the band here and I'm gonna stitch this up now so now that we have this top band here stitch we're gonna start working on the bottom part and guys get ready it's gonna get a little more tricky so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna line up the pan itself with the lower part of the band here. You have to make sure you look to see where the seams are and line up that part of your pants with the seam. So you need something like that. You need it to be flush like that and the seams have to line up. Go ahead and take a pin. Now I have these huge pins guys that are perfect for these thick materials and I'm just gonna Pin that down. So I'm just gonna secure this part over here. Now you can see that we have a lot of this material going on here. So if I were to do my stitch, I'm gonna have a lot of material that's still gonna be on the excess side here. Now this is where we're gonna go into the side of the jeans on the pant waist, and we're gonna just take this seam out over here on both sides. So here I'm alternating between using a sharp razor blade and my seam ripper. Be careful if you're using a razor blade guys, those are really <laughs> extremely sharp. Uh, but you know, get a nice sharp object that's going to take these uh, seams out. So here I've completely taken out both of the seams on either side of the jeans. About an inch and a quarter below the pockets. So now I'm just going to attach the center part of the jean with the lining up with the center part of that waistband. I'm just going to pin that down. i am also detached the other two loops and as you can see the hardware on the side is optional. You know you can take those out or you can leave them in. I'm just going to start from that middle part of the seam that I pinned down and I'm just going to stitch all the way to wanting the cloth and attaching the rest of the jean between the waistband to make sure that I stitch everything down and I'm going to do that all the way straight off until the end making sure that I taunt the material and get between the two bands of the waist so everything is nice and flush so you can see where I already stitched that first part of the jeans from the center to the back. Now I'm going to the side where I took out the seams and I'm just gonna stitch down that excess material since I do have a little extra hanging off. I'm also gonna be very careful going around that hardware that I did not take out. As I said, it's optional, but depending if you decide to keep it, you have to be very careful stitching around that part because it could snap and break a needle. So here you can see where I did that little dart on the side and I totally avoided that little hardware and you can see how everything has lined up. Now I'm just going to cut off the excess part of the material that's hanging out. I'm going to take that part of the jeans at the top and I'm just going to tuck it into the waistband and get that nice and flush. Uh, attach it in the band and I'm just gonna stitch it down I also went
went ahead and I did the same concept on the opposite side of the jeans. So now I just have these two little loops to attach on. I'm starting with the center loop that I totally took off. I'm just applying that in the center of the band and I'm just going to double stitch on that on both ends. Here you can see where I attached that loop and everything is intact. I only have to finish up the other two remaining loops and we'll be all finished. So now I've completely attached all of my loops and you can see the sides where I did sew in. Everything is nice and flush and the band of the waist is all complete and it's a much smaller than how it was. Now all we have to do is just try the jeans on and see how they fit in the band area. I'm just going to turn them inside out and we'll be ready to go. Okay guys, so this is our finished product. You can see that the bands are really nice and snug around the waist area. When I turn on the side, there is no puckering guys. Look at that, nice and firm on the back. Everything's lined up, the, the, um, the loops are all intact. Everything is fitting nice and flush there guys. Everything is fitting nice on the back as well. And the band is in place and the pants is where it should be, on my waist. So as you can see, everything is nice and flush there guys. You do have the options to pop out these little hardwares on the side and go in with another little stitch. It's something you can do or not once you play it right and you get your stitching in the right place. You could definitely go ahead and avoid those like how I did. But if it's something that's really kind of noticeable, then you can go in and pop them out and do another little straight stitch on the side and just kind of like clean that up. But for now, liking the results of this guys. And yeah, so you see this is so much different to getting a, a dart in the pan. Darts are a little bit more bulgy. As I said, those work really fast. Like a, it's like a quick fix, but this is the an alteration of the band to actually uh, adjust it to your own size and liking. Watching. I hope you enjoyed. Do comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that bell down below to be notified of all my future videos. And I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!